Hi, and welcome to this lesson of Digital Tutors and ArchiCAD training. So we're going to go into a little bit more depth about the layer combinations. So in the last lesson, we were talking about um, adjusting kind of the naming convention so that it's a little bit easier to search. Um, and that really depends on what you want to do with your standards and how you want to lay this out. But is definitely something you're going to have to spend some time in adjusting how this uh, this information is represented and if it uh, fits your standards. Um, and just to reiterate, I prefer having um, getting rid of that prefix and then naming it as closely within the layer names as to what it actually represents. Um, this will just make it a lot easier uh, down the road when you're trying to um, adjust or search for layers. Um, so with that, we have, once you've adjusted your layers to fit whatever naming convention that you're looking for, you'll have the layer combinations. And within the layer combinations, again, I have you know a preference of how I set mine up. Um, I think that, I mean, this is a pretty good way to kind of get started with it. But I, in actuality, I prefer to, again, name things as closely um, as possible to how they will be shown in my um, in in the view map. So I'll just show you an example of what this means. And so I have probably seen every different type of uh, naming convention for both layers and layer combinations. And through everything, I actually prefer to have my layer combinations represent what I'm going to see in my, um, in my view map. So let's just look at that. So why I do that is twofold. So if I'm rapidly trying to create, let's just, let's just create a bunch of drawings really quickly. So let's just add a new story. Um, so let's just bring this across. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that. That does, that doesn't matter. Let's organize this. Okay. So as you can see, what I did when I brought those across, it's showing up as seconds as A3, which doesn't make sense with since it's a, we're looking at a floor plan. But I can go in here. I can adjust these and say, oh, hey, floor plan. That's what I want. Um, and I want construction documents. And so that right there is my layer combination right here. And that's basically why I want to keep everything, in, especially in this layer combination area, as closely representative of the information that's going in here. Um, it just allows me to quickly adjust, again, this and go, there's no question as to where that information lives. Um, and then that allows me to create my uh, my sheets quickly. So let's just try that with this. So again, it's showing up as sections, or, well now it's showing up as floor plans, even though, oh, because on the sheet itself, it looks like it's floor plans. So and that's one thing. So when it's coming over, is bringing it over whatever you have associated with the uh, view that you're looking at. So again, that doesn't make sense. Elevations should be on elevations, not floor plans here. So I can either right click or I can go to settings. So we'll just right click and go here and we'll just make that elevations. Um, usually my elevations are quarter inch. 
construction documents is fine. Uh, they're going to be the existing plan elevations. So, and that's it. So now I can just cycle through these, and I can see that they're all they all have been changed. These are all like what I want them to be. Um, so I would recommend going through making these as you know closely related to your uh, your view map as possible, and that just allows you a lot easier transition across when you're making your sheets and quickly making stuff. So let's just make a few more. Um, what else? A4 elevation sections. Um, just do interior elevations. Um, uh, what else? Schedules. Um, and let's just do one called A10, and we'll do this uh, as information exchange. It's a little bit long, so let's just say... That's fair enough for now. Um, the only thing I don't like is that this is coming up as before my other drawings. So we'll just call this an X sheet for now. Um, so, and then enlarge plan, we'll just make that like a seven and um, so one thing that happens all the time is that you might be creating you know a set of documents and um, you might have a bunch of stuff that's on. Let's just do this really quickly. Um, and you might not want this on, but you want these stairs on, and this represents kind of, you know, what your intent is for this drawing. But as you can see, it says custom here. And so maybe you want this to be the floor plan. But one thing you can't really do is if you click here, it's automatically changing the layer combinations. So when you go back here, it just changed everything to be whatever it was that you wanted, it, what you selected. So if we go back and turn everything on, and then we hide something. So if you want to create a custom layer combination or a new layer combination, you actually should go in and create that new layer combination. So say it is the floor plan that you're trying to recreate um, and you already have a floor plan name, just call it B for now. And then you can go in, you can delete this one and then you can adjust the name later. Uh, but if you do do that, these, see how it says missing right here? So even though it's the same name, it's not associated with that same um, layer combination anymore, even though it's the same name. So you do have to go back. Um, let's see. Let's change the name to be correct. And then, so, does actually update those sheets if the name is exactly the same. Um, so that's just one thing to remember when you're creating layer combinations or adjusting different layers to be what you want and avoiding having um, something that's like this, no custom. You really want to have layers that are associated with what you're looking at. Okay, well that should be it for layer combinations and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson.